Minister J.O. Harden here. And I want to talk about eating the seeded plants. You know, lately we've, we've heard in the news a lot of uh, things dealing with um, our foods uh, from, from different organizations or, or, or corporate uh, food chains such as Monsanto's and all over the world that many places in Europe are banning Monsanto's and their seeds uh, because of the the GMOs and all the uh, chemicals that are laced in their seeds itself. And even in the U.S., uh, many farmers, it's gotten to the point where many farmers, even if you're, you're, you're uh, planting organic foods, uh, fruits and vegetables, uh, if, if you are within a 200 mile radius of a Monsanto's um, vineyard or, 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 or or field crop field, uh, then if there is any any indications of strong winds and so forth, then all of that seed or that the shaving from say the corns and so forth, all of those if they land in your field, hundreds of miles away, uh, then eventually uh, your organic is no longer organic food; it becomes labeled GMO foods, but yet uh, many people are still calling it organic food. So what a what a turbulent time that we're living in, whereas you almost cannot identify organic from GMOs. Just a few months ago, I purchased some tomatoes, and, and um, ordinarily I go to Whole Foods or whatever to, to, to get my tomatoes, but on this occasion, I, I went to Walmart. So I get these tomatoes, and and then I get you know occupied with my my weeks in advance, and uh, four or five days later, when I go to the, the, these tomatoes, they are ripe, as if they were picked that day. I mean, just firm, didn't lose its texture. So I decided not to use that tomato. I said, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. So then after that, I waited. An entire week and a half. And would you believe the same tomato, the same bright red color, was still firm and ready to be eaten? When I mention eat, eat, eating the seeded plant and or the seeded fruits, one thing I have begun to do, and I'm, and I'm, I'm trying to really uh, start doing this on a regular basis is uh, decide to grow my own fruits and or vegetables because that is really the only way you're going to know if they really are from the earth uh, but when you buy seeded fruits or, or, or plants or vegetables you, you, you have to really test them for its natural uh, texture the color I never knew all this before, but but you can you can go to Google and and learn about coloring of of, of how uh, truly a, a cucumber, a tomato, a potato, uh, should even an onion, how, how it really should look and feel, because the colors now are so bright, and you and you and you're believing that because it's so bright and, and glossy that it's 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 the fresh of the fresh, but it's artificially made, so we got to be mindful of that. We gotta begin to start uh, keeping herbs in our house on a regular basis. I mean, herbs are here for healing. God gave us food for healing first, not just for uh, nutritional and substance, but for healing. There's nearly well over thousands of, of, of herbs and, and, and vegetables and fruit that are here right now on this earth that are designed to heal your body from anything that's on this planet. I, I don't care what they try to create, your body and, and your food is a resistance. God, out, God had already known how diabolical man would be. Therefore, he put what, what here first? Herbs to heal the body, to rejuvenate the body, 
Healing is so powerful in spiritual living. So now I, I'm growing ginger and basil, thyme, oregano, onions and, and potatoes, all these things. Kale. You can grow them year round. Cunning. Cunin, however they say that. Such a wonderful thing it is to be able to eat the seeded plant and of fruits. And it's fall. Or, or sometime, yeah, this fall, I'll be planting uh, fruits, grapes, and, and strawberries, blueberries. Wonderful. I think it's so imperative that we learn to begin to keep these types of herbs and 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 you, you, again you can go online to, uh, and check it out for yourself but one thing that I do I do do as well uh, to keep me balanced dealing with uh, eating uh, fresh fruits and, and or vegetables is I, you know I, I've said on many, many broadcasts I take juice plus such a wonderful capsule of nutrients 27 nutrients in one capsule and these nutrients haven't been cut down or or, or, or shaved at all. These are all full phytonutrients and no vegetables inside each capsule. So that that is that is my my protector, my my blocker uh, from you know every now and then if, if you do end up eating a, a GMO product because again uh, there's no way of knowing. But you got to be mindful and and and, and be all uh, uh, on alert of what are you eating and what are you putting in your bodies. Your body's is a temple. It's what God gave it for you for. But the more we feed the body the right things, the more intellect, the more our mind expands and opens. Greater visions, greater futures, greater destinies. We can be begin to create a world of unity, of oneness with God. Simply by what we eat and how we take care of these wonderful bodies of ours. I just wanted to come on and really talk about that and to get people really aware of how the importance of eating properly so important it is. Thank you guys for checking this out. I'll see you real soon. Peace and blessings.